Hi guys, welcome back. My name's Joe Gardner and it's a Friday, so you're back in the garage. So I was just midway through doing the Mobility Scooter Part 2 when the postman arrives with my brand new bandsaw that I've been waiting on from Axe Minister for a couple of weeks now, just because it was back ordered. So I thought this would be a perfect time to unbox this and give you my initial review on the bandsaw and yeah, just if you fancy getting one of these, Hopefully this video will help you out. So if you decide to buy one of these bandsaws, I think they set you back around about 500 pounds. So not the most dear bandsaw, but not the cheapest bandsaw on the market. Um, it's gonna turn up in three boxes like this. So I'm basically just gonna go through, unbox these step by step and see what's inside. Um, and just quickly, if you're thinking about space, the largest of these boxes is about 500 mil by about, what's that? Say a thousand mil. So one meter by half a meter, roughly. And also, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this yet, but this bottom box is 72 kilos. So it's quite a hefty bit of kit. Not the sort of thing you wanna be lugging upstairs to your top floor flat. Right, let's start off with this little bad boy. I've already opened this one just to see what it was. So, what do we got? So, this is the bandsaw blade. Not really much to say about it. It's a bandsaw blade. Won't know how good it is until I start using it. So, 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 so. Let's open this bad boy up. Okay, so this box here is the stand by the looks of it. Jesus. Right, there is a lot of parts in there. That is a lot of parts. As you've probably not come here to watch me put some flat pack furniture essentially together, I'm gonna to pop back once all this is made and we'll look at the business end, the actual saw itself. Right, there we go. The base is all done. Pretty straightforward, the base. Uh, it doesn't come with any actual instructions that I could find how to put it together. Not saying they might be on the website. But if you can put an IKEA wardrobe together, you should be able to put this together pretty simple. And a cool little feature it's got, I didn't actually know this until I started putting it together. It's actually got like a spring loaded catch on the front with the door and it's got under storage or under cut compartment storage. So that's pretty cool. Didn't actually know it came with that. So that's a win-win. Right, so that's the base done. Ugh. Next is the actual big boy itself. All right, what have we got in there? All right, it's got a hand wheel. Um, some spring-loaded doobies, we'll call them. Oh, all right, I can see the bandsaw itself now. So exciting, let's take you in to have a quick look. Right, so that is the bandsaw. Um, I should stop recording this really, but I imagine it'll be a good laugh watching me try lifting this up, so I'm gonna just keep it recording. Am I gonna have to lift this? Oh my God, no. Right, I'm gonna have to cut the box. This sword is blunt as anything. There 
she be? so heavy. Right, so I've got everything set up now on the bandsaw that needs to be set up. So when you unbox this, if you're anything like me, there's a few little bits in here that I had to take a moment to find out where they go. So on the back, there's a uh, lock to allow you to lift this up. And next to that lock, there's like a spring brake that you fit. It's just two, two bolts and just adjust the tension on the back. So fit that, and there's a little thumb screw that comes in the box as well for the stop. But other than that, it's pretty much ready to go out the box. Took me a little while to work out what this was until I actually read the instructions and it's just slides in the vise and it's like a repeatable stop. So you can basically just adjust. If you're doing the same length of cuts, you can just use that. I suppose we're gonna fire this up and see how noisy it sounds or quiet. Well, that's pretty quiet indeed. So a few other little features why I wanted to go for this style of bandsaw is one, it's got this um, hydraulic ram here, which you can adjust the fluid flow in that. And that basically controls how quick or slow the blade comes down. Just give you a quick demo actually. We'll wind it all the way in to begin with. So I think all the way in. So all the way in is pretty much like no movement. And then as you unwind it, you get to a point and it starts to go down, creeps down ever so slightly and faster, faster, faster. Faster! Stop. So that is basically like how vigorous cut you're doing. So that's pretty cool. And also the table itself, I'm not gonna adjust it now because I've set it to zero, but you basically, the table doesn't move. The table's fixed. To get your ang angle cuts, you're actually moving the saw. So this does anywhere from zero to 60 degree cut. So we're all set up. I suppose the only thing to do now is cut some metal. So this is 25 mil bright steel. We'll do that up. And let's see how, how good this saw is. So. Let's come back when that's done. Right, so cut through that 25mm bit of bright steel pretty easy. Um, it probably in real time it probably took about a minute, but a minute to get a nice flat cut. I can deal with that. And um, putting a square on that, no gap under there at all. So the only thing it did mess up on right at the end is it cut out too early, so it hadn't quite finished the cut. So just down here, you've got a cut out switch and that cut out switch has got a plate above it, which you can adjust up and down um, for when this blade cuts out. So I had to quickly adjust that and recut it. So that's not the end of the world really. Um, so just quickly, you're probably thinking, what, what can this machine cut? Well, the answer is, according to on top of here. Right, so that is 25 mil, but the maximum it can cut is 125 mil. 
So that is massive. So that's one inch. So we're talking five inch tubing, which is insane. Um, what are we saying? And for box section, it can cut a hundred mil box section. So be a four inch box section, this thing can cut it no problem. So I'm really impressed with it so far. Um, I really like how heavy and sturdy it is. It seems like a really good bit of kit. Um, I suppose now all there is for me to do is start using it, get familiar with it, and hopefully I can start doing some nice repeatable cuts that are super accurate. As always with the review videos that I do guys, if you've got any questions or later on down the line want to know my like honest feedback after having it, just drop a comment below. And if you're really liking these review videos that I'm doing on the bits of equipment I'm buying for the workshop, please subscribe. It means a lot to me and help me reach my next target. And for now, that's all. I can now get back on with the mobility scooter. Now this thing is all unboxed and set up. And I'll see you in the next one, guys.